Greetings, men. Shout out to spiritual warriors. What does it mean to be a spiritual warrior? What does it mean to be a warrior of anything? What are we fighting against? One idea, one concept is illusion, becoming a warrior to fight against ignorance. The root of suffering, <clears throat> as the Buddha might proclaim, if this world is suffering, if suffering is real, then to fight against that, one must be in knowledge. The very word Buddha comes from the Sanskrit term buddhi, or the intelligence, the higher cognitive faculty of discernment. And so to cut with the sword of knowledge, ignorance, bound by ineffective action, attached desires to the fruit of action, and the lack of cognizance about the nature of oneself. Now, I'm not a Buddhist. I follow Bhakti Yoga. I'm a deep personalist. But the idea of ignorance being an enemy of the soul is still prominent. And so, what are the weapons? Knowledge. How do we source that knowledge? The Vedas, they uh, describe that knowledge can come out of six different domains. We'll talk about a couple of them. One of them is our, our per, Praman, is it? It's called the, our ultimate evidence. One of those is our access to a descending form of revealed knowledge. So I think it's a given that we are we are beings of limited awareness and thus imperfect in our capability to discern perfect reality because our sense, sensing devices, our apparatus, our, our uh, seeing, smelling, touching, feeling, tasting, hearing, is all limited, it's considered imperfect. And so for the imperfect, to learn about the perfect, the perfect needs to descend to the imperfect and its perfection to teach about perfection to the imperfect. And so there's this idea of what's called revealed sound, Shabda Brahman. And this revealed sound is one way of knowing. From a source, from a, an authentic source, that's been corroborated by different seers, sages, munis, as they're called, teachers. And when that descending knowledge, that scripture, as it were, coincides with one's experience, which is another source of knowledge. And when that knowledge 
overlaps and we can see, we can feel, we can experience directly a correspondence, then that's how we can evaluate the certain truth. And then when that truth also corresponds with others whom one respects, one's teachers, one's fellow friends and other experiencers. And there's like a triad of our experience, revealed sound and the experience of others. When that is in unison, then one can come to certain conclusions about reality, about what is knowledge, what is real. How do we define knowledge? Basically that information that has coherence, logical deduction, and also corresponds with intuition, with a knowing that is also inclusive of ration, rationality, reason, and what is beyond reason. So to be a warrior, and to have tools, to have weapons of knowledge, I think is a, an empowering conception. I consider myself a spiritual warrior. Being a seeker of truth, corresponding my experience with revealed scriptures and with that of my teachers, my peers, and those who are also continually, continuously learning. So now I do some Qigong, do some breath work. And I contemplate the nature of my identity as a spiritual warrior. Adios.